Hello, lovelies. Hello. Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. And actually, this forecast is going to be for the entire month. October is such a powerful month. I can't wait to share with you what is unfolding this month so that you know what energy you're going to be dancing with. Shall we begin? Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast, where each week we share with you divine guidance on where you need to place your attention, your focus, your energy, and also bring through frequencies to help you heal, to inspire you, to empower you, and to uplift you. Here's your host, Abigail Mensabonsu, with this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu. I am the founder of the Moon Goddess Academy and the Moon Goddess Publishing. And it's been a while, right? I kind of took a little pause for two weeks um, doing my own adjustments here. My little one started preschool. And so, you know, that kind of opens up a whole world of, of, you know, what preschool is about. New beginning for my son and new beginning for me. Um, and it's been quite an interesting journey. So um, I definitely needed that time to integrate, <laughs> integrate and find my my grounding in this new beginning. So hopefully you were you you were able to like go back and watch some of the the past weekly forecasts. The beauty about these forecasts is that they are timeless. You know the wisdom that comes through. You know, you can listen to them anytime and it will still apply to you. You can still receive the, the wisdom and the blessing. So if this ever happens again, you know, um, feel free to look through all the past videos and choose one to receive a message to guide you through the week. So like I said, this week's Goddess Energy Forecast is actually for the entire month of October. A little bit about October. So October is the month of magic and it's also activating the magical self. And I think it's very interesting that this magical month, <laughs> this month of magic is also where we experience the last eclipse of the year. So we get two eclipses this month, one with the new moon, one with the full moon. You know, our first Eclipse portal was towards the beginning of the year. And if you remember, like going back there, just kind of think about what are some things that unfolded for you? Where were you being challenged? Where were you being asked to place your energy? Um, but we are in the last part of the eclipse portal. So the first eclipse is on, um, on October 14th, and that is with the new moon in Libra. And then the second eclipse is on the 28th of October, and that is with the full moon in Taurus. I'm telling you this because there's a key here. Both signs, so both Libra and Taurus, are ruled by Venus. So this retrograde is very Venusian. When I say that, like the theme that is coming up is about relationships, recalibrating our relationships. The eclipse portals are more potent and more powerful compared to like retrogrades or the full moon and the new moon, right? They, they're in themselves are very powerful. They're so powerful that the effects can last up to a year, right? So when we step into a portal like that, like pay attention to where you are receiving the invitations. Where are you being asked to Pay more attention, put more energy into change something, release something, heal something. Eclipse times are great times for deep healing. I'm talking about going into ancestral lineage work, right? Like doing some shadow work too. This is a great time to do these types of works if you're being invited to go there. If you're being invited to go there. If you're not being invited to do shadow work, then that's not where you're being asked to put your energy. But definitely what we know is that this eclipse portal has to do, like the changes, 
the transformation that is occurring has to do with our relationships. And that can be friendships, business partnerships. Um, it can be romantic partnerships, but it's going to be looking at the theme of relationship recalibration. And I love that a lot, right? Really looking at the type of relationships that you have. Do they honor you? Do you honor them? Is it balanced or is it lopsided? Is the, are those the type of relationships that you want or not? And if not, what type of relationship do you want, right? Where do you need to heal so that you can have healthy relationships? All of that will be highlighted this portal, right? And it's this entire month, we're in this portal. So pay attention to where you're being asked to place your attention. These are the invitations. Where is the work? Where are you? Where is your um, attention being pulled to? And do the work there, because if you do this deep work during this eclipse season, you're going to be done with it. Eclipse season energy is kind of like, let's get this done once and for all. So whatever it is that you release, you heal, you transform, it is done. So take advantage of this energy. This is why, you know, one of the reasons why I do the goddess energy forecast is because these energies come in to support us on our journey to help us to heal, to help us to create, to help us to transform, to help us to come home to ourselves, to remember. That's what all these full moon, new moon, retrogrades, like all those energies, this cosmic stuff that happen, that's what they're for, is to help us on our own paths so that we can remember. So take advantage of this. Don't be afraid of working with the eclipse energy. Again, just like with all the other energies, you know, whether it's lunar or cosmic, whether or not you believe in them, it does not matter because the energy affects all of us. The only difference is that for you listening to this energy forecast, you get to learn about the energy that you're dancing with and you get to um, work with it and co-create and collaborate with that energy. So from a place of empowered, empowerness, empowerness is that even a word empowerment <laughs> right so we have the 14th we have the new moon in taurus no actually the new moon in libra and libra is ruled by venus and then on the 28th we have the full moon in taurus and taurus is ruled by venus hence why the theme for the eclipse is relationship recalibration so what i would like to do um, for this week, we're going to be using, I'm going to be bringing in the God cards because it's such a powerful month that let's bring in the name of the divine to support us this month so that we can do whatever it is that we need to do to break through, to transform, to heal so that we can go, we can move on to the next phase, the next level, the next step. So I'm going to bring through there's 72 names of God to support you the entire month. So this is not just for this week. It's going to be the entire month. But before we move into the 72 names of God, let's go ahead and get centered. So close your eyes. Place your hand on your heart. One on your heart, one on your womb or your solar plexus, whichever feels good to you. Or you can put both hands on your heart, whatever feels good to you. And breathe into your body. Be fully present into your body. Be fully here in your body. And allow the breath to help you expand and also help you to let go of what is ready to release, to make space for what wants to come through. Go ahead and open your heart with your breath. Awaken the energy portal within your heart, that light within your heart. And from there, send your channel all the way up and connect or tap into the heart of the Divine Father. Open up your channel and receive that divine nectar into your beingness. There you go. Let's do it. The second time, opening your channel, extending it into the earth, all the way to the center of the earth, where the heart of the Divine Mother is. And again, anchor right into the heart of the Divine Mother. Open up and receive the beautiful nectar from the Divine Mother. 
and let it completely engulf your entire being. And bring those two heavenly and earthly energies into your heart. Where in here, I want you to call in your higher self to be fully present within your heart. There you go. And see all three lights, all three divinities come together, merge within your heart, creating a beautiful crystalline bubble of light. Allow that bubble of light with your breath to expand out and create an, a layer around you. So a bubble of light all around you. And this bubble of light can be any color, depending on what you need. It might be opalescent, it might be green if you need healing, it might be blue if you need to speak your truth, it might be red if you need to stay grounded and anchored, right? Um, yeah, so taking a deep breath in here. And then from here, I want you to actually open up, instead of asking which of these cards is for me, I want you to open up to the name of God that is here to support you this month so that you can fully utilize this powerful eclipse portal that has to do with relationships. One, two, or three. See which one comes to you. And once you have received your number or numbers, go ahead and take a deep breath in in gratitude out open up entirely to receive this divine blessing through the God names breathing in and out open your eyes all right so I want you to continue to stay into your heart that where we're gonna move through because these are powerful cards they have the God name and they usually come with a meditation or affirmation um, or mantra that you can use to really anchor this vibration into your being and into your life, into your world, right? So we're going to go into that sacred place. So stay in your heart. You're surrounded in your own divine light, right? The merging of all the divinities within your heart around you and breathe into this space. If you received one, the name of God that you're working with is Samek Yad Tet. And I want you to really drop into your heart. And as you hear the name of God that you are working with this month, you can even repeat it and place it within your heart chambers and really feel, see, sense that vibration, that frequency begin to resonate through your entire body or ring through your entire body. Samek Yad Tet. And this name of God means making or miracle making, miracle making. And receive the meditation. Again, be in your heart. Samek Yad Tet. I free myself from all selfishness, envy, anger, and self pity. By rejecting these negative temptations, I am free to invoke this name, Samek Yed Tut, thereby igniting the power of miracles in my life. I'm gonna read it one more time. I free myself from all selfishness, envy, anger, and self pity. By rejecting these negative temptations, I am free to invoke this name, Samek Yad Tet, thereby igniting the power of miracles in my life. Taking a deep breath in here. Samek Yad Tet. Samek Yad Tet. Samek Yad Tet. Taking a deep breath in and out. If you receive two, the God name that you're working with or that is here to support you this month is Vav Hey Vav. This name feels really good as I say it. Vav, hey, vav. So if you receive two, repeat it with me. Vav, hey, vav. Vav, hey, vav. And this name of God means happiness. No wonder it felt good. It means happiness. And here's the meditation. Receive it into the, in the chambers of your heart and let it ring through you. 
Vav Hey Vav. I find the strength to restrain selfish longings. Through this name, Vav Hey Vav, I ask for what my soul needs, not what my ego wants. I find deep appreciation for whatever life brings me. This brings me happiness in the deepest sense. Vav Hey Vav. I find the strength to restrain selfish longings. Through this name, I ask for what my soul needs, not what my ego wants. I find deep appreciation for whatever life brings me. This brings me happiness in the deepest sense. Vav, hey, vav. Vav, hey, vav. Vav, hey, vav. If you receive three, the God name that you are working on is here to support you this month is Nun Tav He. Nun Tav He. Nun Tav He. And this name means speak your mind. Speak your mind. Nun Tav He. Here's the meditation. Again, let it anchor into your heart and ring out from there. Va- Nun Tav He. When I need to tell the truth, this name, Nun Tav He gives me the courage to open my heart before I open my mouth. And when I need to hear the truth, it gives me the strength to open my ears and close my mouth. When I need to tell the truth, this name, Nan Tav He, gives me the courage to open my heart before I open my mouth. And when I need to hear the truth, it gives me the strength to open my ears and close my mouth. Nun tav he. Nun tav he. Nun tav he. So I'm going to repeat the God name, just the God names by itself. And I want you to just close your eyes and drop into your heart. Really feel the resonance of these names ringing through your entire being as you hear this. And you are more than welcome to repeat this with me. So let's begin. Samek Yad Tet. Samek Yad Tet. Samek Yad Tet. Vav He Vav. Vav He Vav. Vav He Vav. Nan Tav He. Nan Tav Nan Tav He. Taking a deep breath in. Hold at the top. And release through your mouth slowly. It is done. It is done. It is done. It, it, it is an intense month because of the eclipse. But it is not something to be feared. It is something to be excited about. Because we get to close the doors to the things that are ready to go. We get to heal once and for all. We need to release. We get to release once and for all. And it's a beautiful, magical energy that we are working with. October is so magic. I feel like it just opens the door to tangible magic where we can really feel that energy at this time. And we end the year in this energy. That's the beauty of it. There's magic. The magic just keeps growing until the end of the year. So I want you to see that beauty, anything that feels like magic. So for me, the, the colors, the leaves changing, the sunset at this time, the perfect weather is not too hot, not too cold. It's just that beautiful. And it has this golden glow to it, right? All of that is magic to me. The even the foods <laughs> that the fresh foods that are available, right? Pomegranates, oh my goodness, just pure magic, right? What is magic? What does magic mean to you? And what do you need to do this month to honor your magical self? My child archetype, my inner child is the magical one. And so anything that I do (laughs) that has to do with magic is coming from her. Where is your magical self? Who is your magical self? 
pay attention because he or she will be trying to get your attention this month. Will try to talk to you this month, but you have to listen. You have to pay attention. You have to be open and willing to hear what he or she has to say, has to teach you. Are you ready? Beautiful. So that's it. This week's Goddess Energy forecast is actually this month's forecast for you. Let the the God names that you receive let let them lead the way. Write write a name in your journal. Write it somewhere you can see. Repeat it. Or you can even tone the names so you can truly feel the frequency, the power of these names. When you say these names, you are calling God into you, into your being, into your life, into your home, into everything that you do. It is powerful. All right, my loves. Thank you so much for receiving this month's Goddess Energy Forecast. And I want to end with this. I wanted to remind you, just in case you guys didn't know, I do have a membership, a monthly membership called Elevated Empath. It is a membership for women who work with energies, who work with energy. So I'm talking about healers, intuitives, um, anyone who works with energy this is for you. And in the in this membership, I teach you how to fine tune your energy, call back your power, stand in your power, know what energy is yours and what is not yours. Be an empowered empath. What does it mean to be an empath? Right? You will learn more about that soul gift of an empath and you will learn how to truly harness its superpowers and be of greater service in this world. So if you're interested, the link is below. Find it. Come join us. <laughs> we would love to have you in there. Um, and then secondly, of course, I have my multi-author book, Oracle. This multi-author book I'm calling in women who are channels, who are oracles, who have ability to tune into divine and channel messages that can support us in this time that we're in. So if this is you... I would love to invite you to come and share your message in my multi-author book, Oracle. Again, the link is below. Click on it to find out more about this opportunity or to also sign up for it. All right, my loves, from my heart to yours, until next time, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful Eclipse month. Bye, everyone. Yeah, yeah.